if you're seeing this video right now, it means that you've officially reached the end of my video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. DIY kings and queens? That is definitely not how it starts. Let's go back to the beginning. Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. For the new subscribers and the new viewers, hello hi you are very welcome and if you do not mind please do subscribe and comment like and share this video to get this look so this is just a basic day makeup look that i've done for you guys basically just broken it down for you guys so that you can get the whole gist of it okay i've listed every single product that i've used down below something that you're not very much sure of you are more than welcome to take this is just free information guys so feel free to view as many times as you want and i'm always fussing about this but it's early stages and it's you know new videos i'm still trying to find my feet in this youtube world honestly like i'm out here stay tuned and watch the next slide let's get into it Mwah. First you want to use a primer, alright, spread it evenly so your makeup can stick for longer. Use a brush, brush up, draw individual stray hairs with your Kajal pencil. Use a shaver and just shave your eyebrows. Shave them in the shape that you want guys, whatever shape that is. For nice neat look wipe any residue off okay and just brush it up nice and neatly again once you've brushed up your eyebrows outline your eyebrow under and over with just a concealer okay i like to make a uni brow just to make a nice shape and it's just easy for me guys do whatever is easy for you but outline the top of your eyebrows as well just for a nice shape okay and a clear shape so that your eyebrow can pop okay do that as well to the other side and just have one united unibrow <laughs> Okay, there you go. Okay, that's just easier, guys. Really, it is. Trust me. It's much easier. I'll show you how in the next slide. So you just take a sponge, blend that concealer in properly. Okay, just so that it can be absorbed by the skin. Okay, blending is very important, guys. You'll see, I take time with blending. It's of utter importance. There you go. Brush it up again. I like to brush up. Just makes the eyebrow look very neat and natural. Divide your unibrow with the concealer. Okay, then just blend in again. See, as you can see, like, you're allowed to make mistakes, guys, but clean it up because it's very much possible. And when you clean it up, it just makes it look much more professional. So there you go. Tip, use a concealer. This normally helps for any dark areas that you have or dark circles under your eyes. It just covers it up very nicely so you can have an even makeup look. What you see here is the shape i did a video on this on instagram so follow me on instagram as well at album rana so keep on doing that to perfection doesn't have to be really perfect just any shape as long as you're gonna blend it in nicely okay so under the chin as well as well as the nose and as well as the forehead those are the areas that I want to be highlighted and do that as well with all your dark areas 
And I like this concealer, guys. It's got a bit of an orange tinge, so it's perfect for my skin. Blend that in. And then I go in with my Clinique foundation. Um, I have a caramel color, so I spread it evenly on top of my concealer. Blend, 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 guys, blend. There's nothing worse than seeing a woman with a different color face because of makeup and a different neck area. Make sure that it's nice and a smooth finish. Now blend in your nose as well. Make sure. Now I'm using a different foundation as well, just to go over my eye area. And it just makes everything pop, guys. As you can see, pop it. All right, you also want to go with the darker um, powder just to outline your cheekbone area. It also just highlights your cheeks, really. It brings your cheeks out, so blend it in properly as well. On my forehead, any area that I want to retract or refocus, I use, I use the dark um, powder on. Okay, toast your edges as well. And don't forget to contour your nose. This is just to change the shape of my nose. I'm not really fond of my nose shape, but <laughs> I try and make it as natural looking as concealer nicely over there you can use a sponge you guys you are more than welcome to just to pat it down a bit all right go over it again as much as you want so that you are basically satisfied with how it looks okay blend it in you guys and i'm using a blush here it's an orange blush i've also listed it below and as well as a dark lip liner i'm so sorry there's the last part that i forgot um to put some makeup spray or fix the spray oh or setting spray this it's a body mist by bodycology it's really good it smells great literally this is all you want to do so for me thank you for watching i love you guys so much thank you bye bye